previously on Happily Ever Hanks. They said they could get it done in a day, but you know how things go. Has the underbelly dropped and like ready to go? Well, it has to be here, right? So we're about three hours in. Still haven't heard any updates. It kind of seems like there's not very much accountability throughout all the dealerships. They didn't find no, it? They, they didn't find it. No, she's going to be wearing another one to get that here. Oh my gosh, we just like did all this work to like be out of our rig for the repair and oh my god. All right, so there you have it guys. We tried to get the repair done. We had the part shipped from Grand Design, but this is what I'm saying is like you guys have to be your own advocate because no one cares about your RV more than you. Yeah, they're just like, oh, I'll just make another appointment. Okay, well, you know, this, so, is, this is like, oh yeah, well, I live in the RV. You just make another appointment. Like, we're not gonna be here. So they're buttoning up the underbelly. They dropped the underbelly for no reason. Like, now we have to do this all over again. We did four and a half months to like drop it off just to be told you can't get it fixed. Yeah, we did. We, like, we thought about just having a mobile tech come, like getting the part shipped to us. Like, I would have picked that up at a, a, a shipping store. I would have, no problem. I would have held on to it. Well, the truth of it is, is like RV life is becoming so popular, which is amazing. And they're never going to stop selling RVs. So they're almost like biting themselves in the butt, but yes. they don't care because they don't want to let all the money go. So yeah, there's too much they want to like try to juggle everything and get everyone in, but then they like don't stay organized and then this happens. So, ah, okay, Ugh. well, I'm going to go get a haircut and then we'll go pick up our unfixed RV. Exciting. Oh, wait, I'll leave the keys with you. Oh, yeah. So you and Duck just stay nice and cool. Well, I'm glad we didn't get to get much work done today. And Exciting. Because we had to sit in the truck. And yeah. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy your haircut. Uh, I feel like a weight is off the shoulders. Maybe is this my hair weighing me down. Oh, you got your hair cut, but they didn't style it. I told him I'm going to go grab a shower. I was like, don't waste it, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Don't waste the styling, Joe. I'm just going to go shower Ooh. and then I'll style it. Yeah, it feels better. How are you holding up? Well, I'm still working on my makeup. It's, oh, wow. It's hard to do all this in the truck. How are you guys holding up? You guys doing okay? Well, I got mascara on one eyeball. Um, I'm talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go run some errands and then we'll just and then regroup we'll and... Pick up the rig. It's so weird. Like, this could have been great today and we got the gray tank replaced, but then it would have been something else that we would have been complaining about or... I don't know, I'm just... What I'm getting at is Renee and I are trying to look after flames kind of settle down a little bit. We're trying to look on the positive side. At least we still have a camper to live in. Dexter's healthy. He's been such a good boy today. He hasn't like said a peep. So I'm really thankful for that because that could have added a lot of stress. And I'm not trying to be preachy here. I'm just being honest that we'll get through it. We always do. And we'll figure it out later. We'll get this gray tank replaced. And then some other hiccup will happen in life. And... We'll get through that. Thank you guys for enduring with us. We appreciate you riding this roller coasters of emotions with us and the Hanks family. We hope we shed a good light on you guys with reality and fun and just keeping it real. And when you feel like losing control and just screaming at something or just like feeling like you're the only one going through this, we're here right there with you. Feel free to reach out to us anytime. We're here for you guys. We love you all. And that's it. We love you all. You guys rock. Treat yourself to a nice car wash. Can you guys guess where we are right now? Uh oh, Dexter's scared. It's scary in here, huh, Dexie? He's what is so it? It's okay. There's so many lights. It's okay. It's fun. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. He's so scared. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Wow, look at this thing. Wow, this is legit. So yeah, you gotta take like advantage of. Uh, we're like, well, let's run some errands and get uh, the truck washed. You can still hear me, it's really loud, but this is nice. He needed a bath so bad. Do I look like I'm in the club? Oh, work it, girl. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, that looks good. Thanks for getting that. Uh-oh, Carl's been, Carl's been spotted. He's already found a new girlfriend. Carl. <laughs> Carl went in to talk to them because a car is parked and blocking us from hooking up, but Carl came back and said, hey, here's your 
they gave us the keys. They basically said Grand Design will be in contact with us to figure out another time. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to come back here. It was a little chaotic. And I know it's chaotic because the rally is this week, the Myrtle Beach rally, which is what we're going to right after this. So yeah, we talked about last week. If you're interested in full-time RV living or you want to buy an RV, this is something that you really, really have to take into consideration. Like this is the part that isn't all sunshine and rainbows. And it's the reason why so many of our videos, Kyle and I are just diving in and doing repairs and diagnosing on our own. We've been living with a crack in our gray tank for five months now, so what's another five months, I guess? Get ready to get technical. And if you want to know about all these repairs that we do in our RV and all these things we diagnose and fix, go to our page, check out all of our videos. A little bit of education. We don't like to bore you with like step-by-step -step things. We kind of just are like, hey, this broke. This is how we figured it out. This is how we fixed it. We like to throw that pizzazz at you and keep it light and entertaining. So stick around for more Hank's fun and stick around to see, will this gray tank ever get replaced? We have 10 minutes until check-in. Do you think they'll let us check in 10 minutes early or are they gonna like? My charge is 25. At least these nice and clean. Well, hopefully we're gonna get this Address. Hopefully they'll call us. They said they'll reach back out to us later on and when they talk to their manager who's gonna to talk to Grand Design, they'll get back in contact with us. And I noticed the underbelly come here. So they left some spacing in there, so I gotta get that covered up. They didn't put that back together like I had it. Hopefully it doesn't drop when we're driving. Hopefully not. Seems like everything's in. Hopefully we can get this address I'm before we leave. This is like one of those scenarios where you know, they're like, we'll call you or, or whatever, but it's like be your own advocate situation. Basically. Like, we're probably going to have to call somebody. Yeah. We it got to the point where somebody was parked here and I was trying to get in. I had to be my own advocate and walk around the store saying, do you have a silver SUV? <laughs> they're like, that's me. We just bought a new Solitude. I'm like, I'm so sorry to be awkward when I'm trying to hook up the trailer. Because they were parked right here. Yeah. Always have to be our own advocate, don't we, babe? You got that right. Hashtag RV life. Stop, stop. He doesn't ever listen to me in this part. See, there's, it needs to get lower. Okay. It has to articulate. And if he were to just back up, we would have did something called high hitching and we wouldn't have really been connected. Thanks, honey. Oh. Oh. Maybe I meant to do that. Maybe. Cause you weren't, I was telling him how hey, you don't listen to me when, uh, well, You're I mean, backing up. I heard you. It's just, uh. I was like, he's gonna back up and high hitch because no. I can't get this with one hand. Okay. Okay. Pull test. Always do a pull test because your husband might high hitch and not listen to your wife. We normally keep the wheel chocks, especially in the front here, when we do the pull test to really make sure that the trailer is That's hitched. Some resistance. Yeah, there's resistance, and if it's gonna pull out, and not be attached to the truck, you want it to happen now. We always, always, always do a full test. Good. Ugh. Look how clean those BF Goodrich tires are. They're shiny. Are we okay to check in now? I think so. Oh, not with this. Oh, dear. Oh, ow. Next order of business, Grand Design Rally. Number two. Number two. Uh-oh, we're four minutes early. They're not gonna let us. There's no way they're gonna let us check in now. We're so early. I'll stay here, I guess, if you wanna. I guess I'll do all the work today. We're here. We're... I need the sun so bad that I just, Ooh. <laughs> Wait, where's the map? Let me see where we're going. Yeah, I need that. Let me see. Where's the, where's the campsite? Where's the campsite? You're out of control. Babe, I, I see the beach. The beach. Well, I should just sit up here all the time. I know. You should. It's a lot more peaceful down here. Here's 12th, 13th. I think we're taking a left out that white truck right there. Oh, my bird. Look at all these open sides. Ah. <laughs> Wait, we gotta back into this? Yeah. 
Oh, that's not good. Well, now I'm not having fun because I just saw what we need to back into. It gonna be all right. All right, you want to get out and back me up? What's up with the white posts? Are those the ones you're talking about? Yeah, you can pull them up. <laughs> what is this? Not exactly secure. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. When and now, make it easier on yourself. Keith is being a friend and moving too, so this is good. Oh, he's moving his RV. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna. You're gonna move the RV, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys are leaving. Are we okay, in bye. Right spot? Let's check. Okay, bye. So nice having friends. This is good. Usually it's strangers you're relying on when you get in these situations like, <laughs> can you uh, kind of move your truck? And they're like, really, you can't just back in here with that? You must be new. I'm like, I'm not. Okay, sometimes I drive like I'm new, but I'm not. What do you think? Good. We're kind of like taking over their side as much as we can. Babe, the pole. Get the pole in. Get the pole in. Did you get it? Looks good. What? I need like a... <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. That looks good. Excuse me, is there any last words? I hope this thing's sturdy. What a rip. Bye bye. <laughs> morning from Lakewood Camping Resort. We're just leaving Myrtle Beach. Camper Zen got back to us and they said, come on over this morning, 9 a.m. sharp. We got the gray tank overnighted once again from Grand Design. So they have it in their possession. I'm like, are you sure? We're sure. I'm like, but are you sure? We're running over there. I'm glad we're going there this morning because I just found another leak coming out of the city water connection. It looks like the one-way valve failed. And now we're having leaking out of there every time we turn on the water pump. So anytime the hose is not present, we have water pouring out the wrong way out of our city water connection. It's like RV life, please give us a break here. We're trying to keep our heads above water and it's just not having it. We're trying to dump all the tanks as well before we go because they said, please do that. That would be a nice courtesy. And we said, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do that. We're nice fresh tanks before we have our appointment and say our goodbyes to everyone. Today we leave. Keith and Rainey and Corey and Jesse from Finding Our Someday. We're saying goodbye to everyone and that's kind of kind of sucky because now we get to get back on the road and I don't know, it's just, we're gonna miss everyone. We had such a fun time here. It was awesome though. We had a dual meetup with Corey and Jesse from Finding Our Someday. We went to the water park here. Renee and Rainey had a fun little not so newlywed game that they hosted here, which was a hit. And just hanging out and catching up with everyone. That was the best because we needed that. We need a little break away and just kind of getting to hang out with people. And it's just nice having friends on the road and hanging out, but it's always hard saying bye. Time to get this bad boy fixed because <laughs> we're just not having it. How are you feeling about it all? The great tank repair, I'm really excited because it's about to all finally get done. Yeah, that's But true. nothing's ever final, right? 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 I mean, we're prepared. We're prepared to have the whole day again to just hang out. I don't know. No. Let's go. <laughs> it's the hang. We gotta do it. We, we gotta go. Gotta... We gotta be there in Give me my 15 hard... minutes. Give me my hard hat. They should be out here. I don't know. This guy has a nice looking truck. It kind of matches mine. See you later, guys. Stay in Bye. touch. Good luck. Okay. With the tanks. Thanks. And we'll see okay. you soon. Bye. Bye. We'll miss you guys. Here we go. Another adventure with the Hanks. Rocking and rolling.
let's quick go to the beach. Let's, really quick. Let's go to the beach. We're gonna do what we did last time. And we're gonna come back to the RV park wow. so we can do laundry. Shh. You guys are the only ones that know. Don't tell Lakewood Camping we're doing this. Hey, check out 8 to 11. And our rig gets dropped off at 9. And the Hanks have a lot of bathing suits that need to be washed. That's right. We got stuff to do. We, we don't have a washer and dryer to do it with. No, we don't. We're back. They're gonna be like a final Carl, that's enough. Sorry. Well, this doesn't look good. There's a lot of campers here. Yeah, this does. They not can't look all good. be here for nine o'clock, can they? Just wait here, I guess. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Oh, good luck. Nay, nay. He's been in there a while. Will the tank get replaced? Stay tuned for the sake of leaky tanks with the Hanks. There's a mini series out there and it's going to be tanks with the Hanks and it's everything tanks. I don't know what's happening. Oh boy, someone, maybe? Oh, I see Carl. Are you not dropping them? Like you're I'm dropping them. This is the way that they told me to do it. Flipper said to do it this way, so we're going to try it out. Instead of us manually dropping them, Lippert, Jeremy from Lippert said to do it this way. So it detects when it hits it the ground? It detects when it hits, and if it's uneven, it will stop with one pad and then drop the other and then put equal pressure on it, so. All right, wow. let's hope this actually happens this time. They never said they had the tank. No, I didn't ask them. Here you go, sir, you wear this. Thank you. Hey buddy, we'll be right back. He'll be okay for a minute. It's in the shade, nice and ac -ed. It's morning. Spoiled Not rotten. Let me get the door for you. Thank you. Oh, no Which one? There's not many open. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming how to how to start a washing machine. He doesn't document, you forget. Yeah, that's true. She's training me, yeah. I know you guys are freaking out watching right now because mm -hmm. I'm mixing colors and whites. Are you going to start another one? Because I got a couple more open if you need them. So, uh, you come here often or what? You want to like go on a date sometime or can do some laundry together? Oh, we'll jump into that step already. Oh, get out. Oh, you've done this before, haven't you? Does this feel like a stress, like a weight off the shoulders being able to get laundry done? Yeah. Let me help you get that door. How's he holding up? Oh, still stinky, are ya? Tell everyone you're nice and cool in here because this is ridiculous. These AC prices are getting out of control. You're getting the next tank of diesel, mister. It's coming out of your allowance. Thank you. Yep. Thank That's you awesome. So Half an hour, he said. Awesome. He's a really nice guy. He's very helpful. Yeah. Are you driving or what? Well, if aren't you, don't you need the computer to do things? You sit on the side with more room and I'll sit over here. You just keep doing Neo. Because it's working. It's working good. Not going to lie, I kind of get tired just sitting in the truck. Takes a lot out of you. It's 3.30. The place closes at five, so it should be done by five, right? You know, when they tell you it's gonna be like only a couple hours in your mind, you're like, okay, a couple hours I can do. And then when it starts to go on eight hours. Dexter's getting cranky what now. What the hey, man? Actually not, it's just Dexter's parents that are getting cranky. No, but for real, we thought, like they said, it was only gonna be like three or four hours. So we didn't do anything about his litter box. We didn't bring it. We didn't plan to come back. No. So now we're getting to the point where like... Just my eyes barely stay open. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad we are not like driving far after this. We're just going down the street to Myrtle Beach State Park. Thanks. Could you imagine if we had to drive like four hours today? We would have been like, ah, we're dead. Uh, yeah, if you're in a hotel room, you know, for, it's, it's almost easier to just move out for a day or two. Like your day is figured out. You know where you're sleeping and resting your head at night and there's no like waiting around. You just go to your room, you can relax, you can go get dinner, but sitting in a truck all day, because for those of you don't, that don't know why we're sitting in a truck all day, it's because we have a cat. So we can't just park the truck somewhere and go like explore. Are you nice and cool? Wow, there's a lot of groceries in the back. There's a lot going on back there. Well, I went to Walmart twice. Come on, campers in, call us. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, I knew it was gonna happen. What? We need to get our RV back. What? Yeah, really? we're good, we're done. 
Oh, what happened when you went in? Oh, I don't know. They let you check. He was just finishing up. But the underbelly looks great. It's all brand new. And How did, did you see it? Yeah, I just walked over. So we're going to drive over and pick it up from the other RV lot. So What RV lot? Where right are here. we going? Right here. We're just pulling out. Right here, right, right there? Out. Yep, right here, right now. Oh my goodness. No gracious. one's ever going to buy an RV after watching our channel. See, ever. here's the thing, guys. You think that Hanks get special treatment because we have a YouTube channel, but talk about almost five months later two solid days in the truck alone just sitting here for like probably about six to eight hours each time spending all the money on our own diesel for ac you know it just it's not all sunshine and rainbows the hanks have to pay their dues too is this a joke is this really done are you gonna back into this and be like psych it broke yeah or? no what do you think is gonna break next comment below what you think is gonna break next <laughs> and if you're right we'll be really upset <laughs> oh, one other thing he said that leaking that back leaking there was some calcium deposit build up in there And it was preventing that backflow like it was preventing that uh, one-way valve to actually work Properly, yeah. so he just cleaned it up a little bit. He said it's not backflowing anymore with the water pump. I thought we had really soft water here Not soft enough Is soft water when there's a lot of minerals or no minerals? I'm, I'm confused. I'm not a doctor. What's happening? He's hooking up. Maybe I'll just sit in the truck and make him hook up I'll, I'll, get, I'll get out and help him. Yes, I know. You're like, nay, nay. How can he do it without you? You're right, you're right, you're right. This is the old tank here, guys. So this is our Cream epoxy job that we did right there. Look at how well that was holding. Four and a half months later, it was gonna ready to pop off. So many of you guys said, this is exactly how you fix it. I love that you guys put it out there and said this was not the way to go. The other way was a lot more complicated and I'm just glad we actually just got the tank replaced because that would have been a whole slew of problems down the road trying to figure that out so old tank bye bye you did us well new tank under and if you're like me wanting to know what's underneath there this is what a gray tank looks like if you yeah. have a 51 52 gallon tank big black tank here you said this is kind of like a thinner material here which is very thick so with this not being so thick, it's easy to wear and tear right here. Yeah. And they said it could have happened when they put it in the first time or, you know, there's a whole slew of things. So with it being a thin plastic, it is hard, but it has a chance for that perforation and stuff. So he says he's got it in there nice and secure though. Brand new underbelly. Wow. Good to go. Exciting. Let's go, uh, let's hook up and go I'm gonna miss get pizza. You. Oh, we spent so much good time together, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Ah!